Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the Ubuntu image on the Banana Pi M4 Berry. So here you have the wiki page from Banana Pi and there's a link to some Ubuntu images. So I went with the Jemmy desktop XFCE. And as you can see, that's with the kernel 6.1. So you can download it from either Baidu or Google. And I have to say that uh, you already get uh, a lot of software with the image and uh, for instance like I don't think that all these programs are installed by default by Ubuntu um, and I have to say I haven't tested them all yet but I assume that they all work Um, but one of the things is, is that um, this all winner 8618 chip, um, unfortunately, it only has four ARM A53 efficiency cores. Uh, the good part about this is that uh, it runs very, very cool and also with very little power, only a few watts. Uh, but the performance is not as fast as, for instance, a Raspberry Pi 4 or even a Pi 5. I think it's more comparable to a Raspberry Pi 3. But the good part is, is that you can run it without any cooling, uh, even without a heatsink. So here you can see it's the Linux kernel 6.1 and it looks like they compiled it on the 30th of November. So just a couple of weeks ago. And if you look at the OpenGL information, then it does report OpenGL 4.5 compatibility and OpenGL ES 3.2 but unfortunately it's not accelerated so then everything is running on the cpu cores instead of the gpu um, and here you can also see that the renderer is llvm pipe so that means that you're on software not on the gpu unfortunately So if we go back to the browser, uh, yeah, I'd like to tell you that I installed Firefox and Chromium. Uh, they were not there by default. So you can see Chromium and Firefox. And yeah, as you can see here, uh, you have to install the snap of Chromium because if you do sudo apt install Chromium browser then yeah it says it's already installed but if when you try to run it then it says you need to install the snap not a big deal but you have to be aware of that uh, when I tried to install Firefox, that was even just a bigger challenge. So uh, you can do it with sudo apt install Firefox. And then I think here, when it tells you that it's installing the snap, 
uh, I got some window and then yeah I just chose to skip the last step uh, but it did install anyway so it's not what I'm used to how to install Firefox but uh, at least it does get installed that's the good thing so if we do some tests for instance like WebGL aquarium uh, yeah as I previously said it's not hardware accelerated so we just let it load completely and that takes a while but usually when it's completely loaded that's when you see the real performance so I think it's fully loaded now and it's still just one frame per second and even if we take it down to one fish it's still only one frame per second so but I'll I'll try to contact banana pie uh, and ask them if they have any possibility to activate the hardware acceleration so also with YouTube playback that's not hardware accelerated so let's see here we are on 480p and if we do the stats for nerds yeah you can see it, it's dropping a lot of frames even on 480p so the desktop performance um yeah I don't think at the moment you can use it as a modern desktop yet but it doesn't mean that you can't do anything interesting with it so I noticed that we got an update for on extreme by Vito Plantamura and now it can run stable diffusion XL turbo so in some earlier videos I tried Stable Diffusion 1.5 I tried Stable Diffusion XL and now we're gonna I'm going to show you the results of Stable Diffusion XL Turbo on the Banana Pi M4 Berry uh, so I think the author he tested with uh, Raspberry Pi Zero Two, and yeah. So he says Stable Diffusion XL Turbo on a Raspberry Pi Zero Two uh, with one step. It takes half an hour, so on the banana pie m4 berry one step is about 20 minutes and there here at the bottom you have the instructions to compile it and you also have to make sure that you download the proper stable diffusion file so this one is for the turbo this one is for XL and that's also that you can use these switches to switch to 
XL mode or turbo mode. So he usually tests with an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. So that's also what I tried. And I think the results looks okay. Um, yeah, it's quite common that you do have some issues with limbs and perhaps if you add some more steps that these issues get resolved. But I mean like for a low power single board computer that you get a result like this in 20 minutes, that's impressive. So here you can see that we use the RPI switch. Uh, I think we have to use it because we are on ARM A53 cores and they don't support all the same uh, instructions as the more modern performance cores like the a76 cores that you have on in the Raspberry Pi 5 or the Racha Rock 5. And if you don't use that switch, you get an error. Fail to create multiply operation. So again, it's dependent on the kind of CPU cores that you have, if you need that switch or not. And just to show you the temperatures. So after roughly 20 minutes that I've been running Stable Diffusion XL Turbo, the temperature was only 50 degrees. So again, that is without any cooling at all, not even a heat sink. So my experience with the Banana Pi M4 Berry at the moment is that well, at least for me, it's not really usable as a desktop computer because the, for instance, like OpenGL and video playback, at least in the browser, that's not hardware accelerated. So that's a pity, but it's really impressive to see that, for instance, something like Stable Diffusion XL Turbo, um, and that the Banana Pi M4 Berry only uses, let's just say four watts, that it can still generate an acceptable image in 20 minutes. So of course, if you have something like a Raspberry Pi 5 or Racha Rock 5B, it will do it much, much faster, but they also consume much more electricity. So these are all the tests that I've done for now. Uh, I'll try to contact Banana Pi to see if we get any hardware accelerated OpenGL or video decoding. And that concludes my first impression of the Banana Pi M4 Berry. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.